The darkness and the desert. The darkness can make you feel lost. You're surrounded by the unknown. The desert is endless and you're wondering, will you make it? As I was reading the Christmas story this year, it was the desert and the darkness that stood out to me the most. And you may be wondering why those two out of all the beautiful parts of this story, why the darkness and the desert? As I read, and I could almost feel the darkness surrounding and the desert beneath my feet, as I read about the Magi seeking out the child Jesus, and reading as the shepherds sat in their fields that night, and as I read about Mary and Joseph as I set out for Bethlehem, I could only feel the darkness and the desert that they must have experienced. And I believe it's because I've experienced them myself. And maybe you're in the middle of your own desert. For me, the desert looks like my mom passing away in March. It looked like my child struggling in middle school. The darkness surrounded. Both the unknown around me and the journey I was on felt endless. And I am still in the middle of it, y'all. And as I continue to read the truth and I continue to feel that darkness and that heaviness and that wandering in that desert. I have another feeling as well. It's that feeling of anticipation. Because as those magi from the east, surrounded by desert and darkness, Mary and Joseph together as a new couple going to Bethlehem about to become a new family and the shepherds sitting there feeling like outcasts in the darkness doing their jobs mundane day-to-day -day jobs their hearts were anticipating and wondering, is this the year? Is this it? And it was. And that, that is why. That is why the darkness and the desert. Because when I experience those things, it makes the manger light up light up. As I read about the birth of Jesus, my heart burst with excitement this year because I felt the darkness and the desert heavy on me. Truly battles. Battles to the nail for joy and faith and to keep moving forward this year. And as I read about these incredible people who are just like you and me, who are ordinary people who had been in the presence of Jesus, it made me grateful because I could experience the darkness with them the more I read, I saw those the night sky and all those stars. And it was that one star they were following, the brightest one in that darkest night. 
Wow, I've needed that star. I have needed my husband and these amazing leaders in our church and most of all the word, the gospel to point me to the one, to the hope, to keep going, keep seeking because what you seek you will find and I did and I have and I continue to find hope. So the desert that feels endless, feels like you're not gonna make it, and the darkness that surrounds you and you feel like you're not going to see the light. Keep looking for it. Because the light is here. Unlike Mary, unlike Joseph, unlike the shepherds that night, we have Jesus. He is with us already. You can have him. He wants you. In the middle of your darkness, in the middle of your desert, hope is crying out in the stillness of the night, the night that feels like it's not going to end, and the desert that feels like you're too tired to take one more step. Take the step. Take a rest and then keep going. Don't quit. You're not alone. In the middle of my desert, in the middle of transition, there is transformation. And I'm believing that for all of us for the next year that we hear the cry of our Savior Jesus Christ in the middle of the night and we remember that that baby in the manger chose the cross for us and he is here he is with us he is hope continue to share your story type your story you are needed.